Welcome to Sticky Toffee Pudding. That's very subdued, isn't it? Well, that's what it was. Uh, this is Sticky Toffee Pudding. It's a delicious recipe. It's easy to make. We're it's, making with our friends Super Value. Uh, it's higher in fiber. We're using medjool dates to increase the fiber content. We're making a coconut caramel and we're topping this with some vegan vanilla ice cream. Whoa! This is a, it might sound simple, but this is an incredible crowd pleaser. This is all ages go, that's a delicious dessert and it's healthier. So here we go. Okay, so first step, we've got 200 grams of Super Value Medjool dates. Uh, use any type of dates. We personally find Medjool, they're, they're bigger, deliciously more sweet and succulenty. So what you wanna do if you're using the Medjool ones is just make sure and take the stones out of them. So we wanna have 200 grams of pitted dates. So that simply means that the pit or the stone is removed from them. Uh, next up, just to soften these dates even more, cause we're gonna make a date caramel, we're gonna pour in 200 ml of boiled water but just put it in and leave it sub submerged for just a minute or two. Okay, next step we're gonna make, obviously this is a vegan sticky toffee pudding. So instead of an egg, we are going to make a flax egg. I've got two tablespoons of ground flax. You will get it in your local Super Value store or any supermarket. And I'm gonna add in six tablespoons of water. Uh, just give that a good mix and we're gonna leave it sit for three to five minutes and it'll coagulate and end up as a wonderful binder for this sticky toffee pudding. Okay, so next step, you're gonna take a mixing bowl and we're gonna put all the dry ingredients together and the wet ingredients. So we've 150 grams, we're simply using just super value plain flour, use whatever type you have, 150 grams. And next step, we've got 50 grams of sugar of choice. We're using coconut sugar, but use muscovado sugar or castor sugar. Try to use the brown or dark ones that'll have more molasses notes that'll make this darker looking like a sticky toffee pudding. I've got one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda. To just add more lightness and kind of more rise to these. Next step, we're just gonna mix our dry ingredients together. So just take a spoon and make sure and bring them all together. And next step, we're gonna mix our wet ingredients all together. So we have 75 ml of just simple sunflower oil. In on top of that, I have a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Uh, and lastly, if you do have molasses or barley malt, go with two tablespoons of that. And if you have neither, go with two tablespoons of maple syrup. Like what the molds will do, or molasses will add that kind of darker, kind of, what's that stuff? Treacle-like note, which is so kind of synonymous of a sticky choppy pudding, but this will work perfect too. So into the center of your dry ingredients, pour in your wet ingredients. And your flax egg, here's our flax egg, in it goes. So we're gonna fold our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients together in the, until they form a really nice batter. Uh, next step, and really important, you'll notice the batter there is quite dry. So we're taking our soaked dates now, they've been soaking for approximately five minutes and we're gonna pour them in along with the soaked water. In they go, and we're gonna blend them on high speed until they're smooth and caramel-like. Okay, so we've blended our dates in boiling water and it's come together into a beautiful caramel. It really has this decadent. So we're gonna add this now to our batter. So you'll see our date caramel, wonderful color, and we're just gonna mix that through until we have a lovely kind of moist batter. Okay, so we've just taken a baking tray, just any type of a... Approximate 30 centimeters by 20 centimeters by about six centimeters high. Exactly. And we've lined that with some simple baking parchment, and we're just going to use a silicon spatula, add our batter into our cooking you'll vessel. You'll notice the batter's quite light and airy just because of that date caramel that we made. It really is, it looks fantastic. And the great thing about this batter, because there's no egg in it, you can actually taste it as it is. We've preheated our oven to 180 degrees Celsius. We're gonna break this for 25 to 30 minutes until it goes nice and kind of golden on top. So while our cake is in the oven, we're gonna make a beautiful sticky coconut caramel. So I'm gonna start by adding two tablespoons of water, three tablespoons of water. I'm gonna put in juice of half a lemon, just squeeze it through my hands, just a little bit. What the lemon juice is gonna do is gonna stop it actually wanting to stick. So we've got them with 250 grams of coconut sugar. Use muscovado sugar or even icing sugar. Muscovado would be better because you're going to get that brown sugar. So this is just where you have to be a little bit careful where it's starting to bubble and starting to catch ever so slightly. You don't want it to catch because then it's going to burn. So this is the part where you really need to keep whisking. You need to keep beating some air into it and make sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom. A whisk is essential here. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna take the cream off the top of one full fat tin of coconut milk. This is a 400 gram tin. We're just gonna simply take the white and fat just off be the top. careful when you pop it in here. There will be a little bit of a sizzle as the kind of water and the sugars come together. So just be a little bit careful here. Oh, this is gonna turn us into a beautiful coconut caramel. 
So you see it's got a wonderful luster to it. It really starting to look luscious. And when I pull it up here now, you'll see it's starting to be, it's ever so slightly water, watery. So I'm gonna reduce it just a little bit so it's a little bit thicker. And as it cools, don't forget it's gonna thicken up again. But that is luscious, that is rich. That is that wonder kind of wonderful caramelly, sweet, slightly acidic note to it, magnificent. So once it starts to boil up and bubble like that, just turn it off the heat, just keep stirring it so it doesn't catch just as it cools, and then you can leave it, and that's your beautiful coconut toffee with our sticky toffee pudding. Okay, so now the moment of truth. So we cooked it and we left it cool for probably half an hour until it's nice and cool. We have some vanilla ice cream. We have our toffee. It is amazing served ever so slightly warm with cold ice cream and warm toffee. Oh, it starts to kind of catch and seize. And, and now the oh, moment of glory. Do. Just in your honor, in your honor. Mm. To you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of this channel. We genuinely appreciate it. That is just magnificent. Mm. What a splendid dessert. That's magnificent. Uh, thank you for watching. Big shout out to Super Value. Um, we've been working with Super Value for many years. They're fantastic. Really wonderful to work with. Great community and great food. Genuinely, really do. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of this channel. And um, yeah. link, link to the full recipe, written recipe down below. Cheers. Cheers. Bye.